I wanted to talk about this because lighting is important for when we're doing social media. It, it could also be kind of daunting for some. So I, I wanted, I thought I would give a little uh, lesson about, not so much lesson, but just, just let you know what I'm doing here. I'm not a big fan, I'll, I'll say, of the of the ring light because I don't like this big washed out, you know, big face kind of thing. Let me show you what I'm doing. Now, right now, I, I, just as I look at my screen, I'm a little bit washed out. I, there's a window over here. I don't have it open. I've got I've got the uh, the blind closed because I really don't want sunlight because lighting is really about controlling what you're doing, being able to control it, and sunlight has a blue tint to it. If you're like many of us, we, we, we do stuff in the evening and then that light is no longer available to us or worse yet, you start about five o'clock and then the sun goes down and then that changes, that source changes. So not only do you lose light, but you lose color, right? The blue tint goes away. Let me show you what I've got here. Also, I don't know if you can see behind me. Let me turn it on for a sec. Okay. Now, obviously... It's worse for me because I'm, I'm a guy with white hair. It just, it washes out my hair. And if you've got a forehead like this, you can also get just this big old glare. I don't need it. It brightens up the room and stuff, but we can do that in other ways. So turn that off. I like, I like simple and I like mobility and inexpensive. So the most recent thing I've got is this guy. This was like $25 or something. It's got lots of flexibility left and right. The light comes off of here. The fact that I can turn it and tilt it and put it to my side. So there's three three things I want here. One obviously is the ability to go high and low, right? And the ability to position it easily and the ability to change the temperature. The temperature is basically going from blue tints to, to red tints. Now notice the walls in my background are blue. So sometimes if this gets too bright on me, uh, I will just point it at the wall in front of me. The wall in front of me is blue also. What's that gonna do? It's gonna reflect blue light back on me. So in that case, I would want to tint the light more to the blue side, right? That's a little more natural. So let's see. So I'm going to put this on just pretty much uh, mid range. There's the there's the blue or the white LEDs. By the way, you shouldn't buy be buying anything but LEDs anymore because the the electricity on LEDs is so much lower and the temperature is so much lower. And we're all living in a climate now where it gets hot. You don't need to be to be putting more more heat into the room. Our bodies put out about a hundred. Uh, the heat equivalent to about a hundred watt bulb all by itself, just by sitting here, not to mention our computers and stuff. Okay, so that's my left. I've got the same thing on the right. I'll turn this one off. That's one side, and I'll turn this one off. On and off. That's the other side. So all I have to do is play around with tilting, and I don't want to overdo stuff. I don't want hard shadows. I can tilt up and down. Another nice thing to do is give a little bit of a, of a side to side differential, make one side a little dimmer than the other. And that gives you a little more, a little more depth. I can get a little bit less on this side than on this side. It gives a little bit more depth. I'm noticing I'm getting shadows in, in here and, and around here. What I want is a little bit of a front light. This is called a fill light. I'm Phil, right? <laughs> <laughs> so a fill light a fill light fills in the whole frame as opposed to basically a, a spotlight or a diffuse light the the spotlights those are called key lights but i don't i don't have a specific key light going on here all this you, you see is what i just showed you it is it is diffuse um oh by the way i have a third one which i use to fill the room if i want that and i'm going to put this behind me and face it to the rest of the room. Okay, and you can see if you choose to brighten up the back of the of the room. In this case, you can see this one advantage is there's some nice definition that shows me better to the camera because I'm I'm standing out from the background. But whatever you like, uh, honestly, when you're I don't want to get complex about this. So do it until it looks nice. Just make it that simple. So to me right now, that looks a little bit too bright, right? The blue and the white is mixing and it's just a little too distracting for me. So I'm gonna tilt this down a bit. 
So that, that's good enough. That's okay. And whatever you want to do back there, you should have more decoration than I have, something to look at, but not something that's going to distract from you looking at my face because I'm talking and I want you to hear what I'm saying. We still need a little bit for the for the front. This seems to be a nice one. I was looking for a small thing, and it is, this is pretty small. It's only about two and a half by three inches or so. It comes with a couple of attachments that I showed yesterday. This one has a clip. You can clip it on your computer. You can clip it, put it on a stand or something. And it has this little attachment, which is meant to uh, go on cameras. This guy, right? This is a standard this uh, the standard thread for putting it on top of a camera. And we've got some nice slots on this guy. So I like that. It has a swivel. Da -da -da, swivel. And then I'm just going to screw on the clip. And this is all I need for me. So now I can clip it to something. Now, I could clip it to my computer. I don't want to put the stress on the computer screen. I have a bigger screen in front of me. I could put it up there. So rather than clip it up there even, I can do this and basically just let it sit up there. So this is going to go in front of me, sit on my monitor up there, or I can put it on the monitor here. Turn this thing on. This one's got two dials. It's got one for brightness and one for temperature. This is really important because, see, my face is not that bad it looks okay there's a little bit of a shadow i mean at my age i don't really want to show this shadow as much behind the glasses and stuff so i'm going to probably put this on the minimum setting but we'll see what it looks like so a simple turn on in the back let's put it to to cool so you can see how how much red that adds to me if i hold it up you see how it's, i'm all orange now right so i'll go to the other extreme and now i'm like in sunlight that's like blue so I'm going to just bias it until it looks good. Now I know from yesterday's work using this, this webcam that I came out looking a little bit blue. So I'm going to bias this a little bit more orange. So let's turn that down to that's minimum. I'm just going to hang this up in front of me and let that fill my face. And just to show you the difference, there's no light, there's light, there's no light. There's light. And this also was like $25. So now $100 doesn't seem bad, but let's just say that's too much for you. Use what you got. Basically, it's just that simple. Um, I've got this sort of flashlight thing. Look around your house. Use uh, You might use desk lamps, table lamps. Realize that incandescent bulbs are going to give you more of a, of a warm look. So, But these days, you know, you you're, should be using LED lights across the house because LEDs use... 10% of the power, literally, you'll see your electric bill drop phenomenally. And even from the fluorescence is about a 30% drop from there. Anyway, so let's just say you're using a light like this, just whatever the source, if you have a portable light, this is just a little flashlight. Real quick, just uh, be careful of your placement, keep it out of frame to the best of your ability. You don't want to go too low that you get that you know Halloween look kind of a thing. You don't want to be too close where you get you know, bright spots on your face. So let's take care of that. So you've got a light like this where you, it's just simple. You have no ability to adjust the, um, the, the brightness of it because it's not a complex thing. I'll give you two, two tools to, to work with. Number one is a tissue. All we're going to do is filter the light. All you have to do is take your light source, do this, and just put it over. Number one, you'll diffuse the light. I'm going to put it in front of me so you can see that's without it. That's with, see, put, tape it to your wall, put a nail up there and hook it on, whatever it takes. Just find some simple and cheap way to do it. Um, if you need a little bit more, you just double it up, just fold it in half. And now we've got that. That's a nice little light. And if I take it off, it's too bright. Put on that double cover. There you go. Single cover, play with it. You know, you do this stuff on your own. And once you're going live later on, your setup is all, all there. You know, no one's going to see it. It just, uh, just makes you look good. But what if this is not enough? So how can, we, how can we diffuse this even more? What other complex device do we have around our house that uh, we all have? How about this piece of paper? This is just going to be one notch up, right? Again, diffuse it. Uh, what I'll usually do is 
something like this, cheap and easy. Just hang it over like that, right? So then maybe put a piece of tape, whatever, however you're hanging it up. But again, we have diffused through a piece of paper, undiffused. So this is like level three diffusion, we'll call it. And if that's not enough, double that up. All right, so now we're shoot, now we're shining through two layers of paper. There's your two layers. There's no layers. And there's there's one layer. So you have these tools. They are these are not hard to do. It, ultimately, it just has to look good and do all your tweaking and playing offline. I will say one thing about putting paper uh, over something like this, especially putting tissues over. Use LED bulbs because LEDs put out almost no heat. You can't cover an incandescent like that. If you get a lamp with an incandescent bulb, you do not want to be putting tissues on top of it. You could start a fire. So bottom line, again, whatever works, make yourself look good.